Good morning, Guardians. Briar Rabbit here. Today, we'll talk about new content, spending less money on current content, how to kill a juggernaut and live to tell about it, and finally, show a truly impressive world's first. First up, Festival of the Lost starts tomorrow. The first live team style event returns for its third anniversary on Tuesday, along with new masks, emotes, and quests. I'm not sure yet if this event will be unlocked at the weekly reset or if we'll need to download an update first. I expect the latter, but regardless, I'm always excited to see new content release, especially on the PvE side of Destiny. And I really love the new emotes, so I'll be opening my quickly thinning wallet to purchase one or two of those. Speaking of my ever-depleting fundage, Bungie has announced that they will be updating the Silver Dust economy in the next update, which is presumably tomorrow, but again, not positive. Trials, Wrath of the Machine, and Iron Lord Armor Ornaments no longer will require Silver Dust to apply. The Silver Dust requirement for applying exotic weapon ornaments will remain as the Silver Dust required for application is provided by the Radiant Treasure Box. Also, Year 1 and Year 2 Iron Banner Armor found in the Dusty Iron Engrams and on activity completion of Iron Banner matches was incorrectly dismantling into Legendary Marks. With this patch, these items, when dismantled, will now yield one Silver Dust. This is good news. I'm glad that Bungie is hearing the community speak on the issue of Silver Dust. This stuff is way too rare in game and very expensive to purchase with real money. And the fact that ornaments earned in game, like the Trials of Osiris armor ornaments or the ones from Wrath of the Machine, basically cost money to apply is a bit ridiculous. Also, removing the legendary marks from the Dusty Engrams removes what some players felt, including me, was a pretty clear avenue toward paying cash for legendary marks. Since the release of Rise of Iron, the Juggernaut Shield on the Titan has seen more and more use in the Crucible. As I'm sure many of you already know, a rushing jug with a shotgun could be a terrifying thing to see. Yesterday, fellow host of the Destiny Community Podcast, Patrick Casey, made a video to show us what is effective at taking these jugheads down, and what isn't. He tests a lot of techniques, and the video is frankly very eye-opening. Link in the description. So if nothing can go through it, and you're facing a jug titan, how do you stop it? Well, there's a couple different ways. First off, a rocket launcher works amazingly well. Pretty much anything with a blast radius will go around the shield and damage the titan. We all love this game a lot, but it's very important to take frequent breaks during long play sessions to rest your eyes, stretch your wrists, and move about. Reddit user Cronsauce has some words of warning for Guardians. In his Reddit post, he describes what it is like to have carpal tunnel syndrome and how it affects his life and his passion for gaming. This is something that can happen to anybody, even you. So please, Guardian, heed Kron Sauce's advice. There are many ill effects to sitting still or using a controller or keyboard and mouse for long periods of time. Be aware of them and take steps to prevent them so that you can continue to fight off the darkness for years to come. Finally, it was bound to happen, but goddamn, it's still impressive. We have a world's first solo Axis kill. The feat was performed by Scardro. I'll put a link in the description to the Reddit post where he describes how he did it in great detail, what gear he used, and his strategy. And of course, a link to his YouTube video so you can watch it happen. You know, every time I see one of those, it looks so damn easy, but when you try it yourself, you fully understand the difficulty involved. This is one hell of an accomplishment. Congratulations to ScarJo for being the world's first. And that, Guardians, is going to do it for today's show. If you'd like to see a story or a creation covered in a future episode of GMG, tweet me a link in description with the hashtag GoodMorningGuardians. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.